This video was talking about Gauss's counting problem. So we're going to have a, a string of numbers and we want to find out what their sum is. So this problem is I'm going to give you 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 and that equals something but I don't know what. So what I want you to do is go ahead and figure out how you would figure out that sum. I'm assuming you're all working on this. So, one of the ways that people would do is they'll say, well, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10, plus 5 is 15, plus 6 is 21, plus 7 is 28, plus 8 is 36, plus 9 is 45, plus 10 is 55. So that's one way of doing this. And we have a manageable number of numbers. We only have 10 numbers, so it's not that out of the realm of adding them up. But what if we have to add up to 100 or 1,000? And then somewhere in the way you're going to do 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus... Oh, look, there's a squirrel aside. Oh, wait, did I add 6? Well, 6 plus 7 plus 8, and then you get messed up because you lose count of what you're counting. So even though this way works for lower numbers, it doesn't work well for larger numbers. So another way of doing this is there's a pattern of adding to tens, which is always really nice. So we have 1 plus 9, and that's going to give me 10. Then we have 2 plus 8, and that's going to give me 10. And then 3 plus 7, and that's going to give me 10. And 4 plus 6, and that's going to give me 10. So I have this 10, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then plus the 5 that didn't get paired, and there's 55. So that's another way that you could look at this and say, okay, I can add these numbers up by pairing them together and then making the addition easier. So the legend has it is Gauss, who was a famous mathematician, was given the problem up to 100 and he did it almost instantly. But this is how he solved that problem. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 5, plus 6, plus 7, plus 8, plus 9, plus 10 is equal to some sum x. Now, we're kind of using that idea of making nice numbers by putting nice numbers together. Well, Gauss didn't really care if those nice numbers were 10 or 11 or whatever. So what he decided to do was, if I reverse the numbers, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, whoops, I'm off a little bit, plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10, it's the same sum. So now what we're going to do is if we add up and down here, and on the other side of the equal sign, I get 11 plus 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 11 and that equals 2x. So how many 11s do I have? 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 times 11 is equal to 2x. So x is equal to 10 times 11 divided by 2, which is 5 times 11, which is 55. Now, this may seem more complicated to do than just adding them up one by one, but that's because we have a small manageable number of numbers. Let's say we were going to do this, and we were going to do the sum up to 100. So I don't want to write out all 100 numbers. I'm just going to go 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, dot, 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 plus dot, 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 dot plus and then I'll just start at 98, plus 99, plus 100, and that equals to x. All this stuff in the middle, I don't care about because I know they're all going to match up. So if I reverse this, this is going to be 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus dot, 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 plus dot, dot, dot. And then this should be 100 plus 99 plus 98 plus 97. So now I'm doing the same thing. I'm adding the two numbers above each other. And what I get is 101 plus 101 plus 101 plus 101 101 plus 101 plus 101, and that's equal to 2x. So since I'm going up to 100, I have 100 101s equal to 2x. So that's 100 times 101 divided by 2 is equal to x. So that's 50 times 101 is equal to x, which is 5,050. So this is the problem of Gauss's problem of adding a large sum of numbers.